you doing? You look fantastic. Thank you, sir. You look incredible. Thank you. You look wow. great. Oh, get some more. Come on, I love this. Oh, man, I can just talk all Give night. Give it to me. No, you really do look very nice. Thank tonight. you very much. How are you? You're well? I'm really great. Yeah? Really I, great. I, we're, we're very jazzed up. we got the Emmys coming up Friday night. That's right. The Emmys are coming up. Yep. And uh, we'll get to that in a second. But first of all, I wanted to mention one Gee, thing. Do I have an agenda or what? <laughs> we're going to get to talking about the Emmys in just a second. But first, I wanted to mention something. Your good friend, John Tesh, was here not too long ago. Yes. And he took the opportunity when he came on this show to completely change his image. He was a wild man. I, he was a wild man. I don't know. Walk him backstage or what? No, we didn't do anything. He made a conscious decision to completely change his image, and he played some Black Sabbath music with the Zappas. Did you see? Did you when he was see here? This? And you got. Well, let's show the clip right now. He went completely insane. Show this clip, please, just to explain what I'm talking about. <laughs> Before or since? No, no, know. since then, it's completely changed his life. Oh, what, really? He's in the Lollapalooza tour now. Yeah. <laughs> I bring that up as a theme tonight. But it has completely changed his life. I'm just saying, if at any point during the night you want to completely change your image, this is the show I could do, do that it. right here and now. Just go crazy. If you want to do some, a Black Sabbath tune, feel free at any point. Just to, really? Yeah. And would you assist me in that if I needed Certainly. you? Certainly. <laughs> That's what here for. Yeah. Well, but, but sort of implied in that remark is that my image needs changing. I'm no, really worried about that. No, it doesn't. I'm just that. saying this is an opportunity. Watch him backpedal on this. Just, oh, no, no, no. It's just an opportunity. Your image doesn't need changing at all because you look fantastic. Ooh, give it to me. <laughs> so just if I wanted to take use of this time, I could... Well, I don't know. I mean, I've... Gee, I've done the body piercing and I've... <laughs> you have, a, see? I was the head of a small cult once and I... Uh, see, these are the kind of confessions that will completely change your image. Yeah. So we'll talk about the cult later. And I feel comfortable here with you <laughs> that I will reveal. Revealing them all. I will reveal all. This is the show, yeah. That's, Look at me, you know what, you can actually, I tell you what, I will do something as wild as a Tesh man. Mm -hmm. your image. In fact, we'll do a, make, a makeover show. My producers are here tonight. We'll do like a makeover show. We could do kind of uh, some highlights. We can put All right. We can put All right. All right. I'll do it. I will do it. Here we go. We can Thank you. put you in like a thong and a studded bustier. Wait, a thong? I have to wear a thong? Well, makeover is dramatic image oh, change. Oh, can I bring my own thong? Do you have them in neon colors? No, no, for God's sake. All right, we'll do something. I'll, we'll, 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 we'll collaborate. We'll okay, cut a good. Christmas album together or something. You'll I see. I like it's that. Be great. <laughs> but let's talk about the Emmys. Legally, I'm bound to ask you about the Emmys. And actually, Legally. No, no. It, it, it's, a, it's an actually very interesting thing because you are nominated for an Emmy. That's right. But you are all the, for a daytime Emmy, but you're also hosting the daytime Emmys. Yeah, and talk about taking advantage of an opportunity. Well, doesn't this mean you win? Come on. Doesn't this mean if well, you host it and, and you're nominated, it means you win? Come on. I, I think, well, it didn't Ooh. work for Susan Lucci. No? And, you know, she's hosted it. She's hosted it, yeah. But now, now, what about the, uh, I know you already had the technical Emmys. Is that right? They oh, had the yeah. technical See, awards. Conan, it's kind of a sore spot to bring this up about the technical Emmys. The technical it, Emmys is we, where they give the Emmy for best audio, best, you know, uh, best, what else? Hair, hair. best directing, okay. best set design. Win best we hair. We were up for five, mm -hmm. and uh, we had three of them were given at the technical Emmys, which were last week. Mm -hmm. And we had uh, set design, art direction, hair, and makeup. Oh. We thought, you know, we've got very talented people working on the show. Sure. Well, Miss Oprah won for makeup, mm -hmm. so, you know, she's, like, beautiful and always looks fabulous, and that was a good thing. Okay. So, we were very happy that if we couldn't win for hair, that a fellow Paramount won. You didn't win for hair? We, we did not win for hair. Who beat you? Maury Povich got best hair. <laughs> What's up with what? that? Wait What's a minute. What's up with that? Maury Povich's hair beat your hair? I don't know what this means, but, um... Oh, man. I, that's, that's ridiculous. Your hair kicks Maury Povich's hair back. Kicks ass. it, I mean. It does. We love Maury, but I don't understand what that means. That's so, so wrong. So we're thinking since, okay, we, we, got, we didn't get those three, but we're holding out for these two. <laughs> well, so we've all been, you know, we've all been visualizing and lighting candles and chanting and... What, we, you, do you do things actually to, to prepare for winning an Emmy? I mean, what, what can you do mentally to prepare for trying to win an Emmy? What can you do? Oh, they can tell you. We all, um... We, we're all, you know, we, we're wishing it to be so. Mm -hmm. I guess that's about as deep as it gets. But we're very good at that. It's sort of like Master Kane and Kung Fu. You just visualize it in your mind and make it so. Well, you know, there's that whole thing, Conan, about if you... This is really trippy. If you think it, whatever it is that you want, and you, <laughs> you visualize it surrounded in a pink bubble. 
and then you, you release it to the universe, and then, then you have to disassociate and disattach yourself to the outcome. I don't so know. when you really wish for something, you put it in a pink bubble and release it into and the environment. And just release it to the universe. Okay. I, I don't think, know what to I think you just changed your image <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm now a Zen master. And you're, I'll yeah, be, yes. you're now known as the nutty Lisa Gibbons. All right, hang on one second. We're going to do a quick break. When we come back, we'll have more with Lisa. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Lisa. We're back. I'm here with Lisa Gibbons. How are you? I'm great. Did you enjoy your commercial break? Um, hang with our producer. I team. saw you doing that. You, all of, you all dove of our into the audience like it was a mosh pit, you know. During uh, it that. was, yeah. but they gave me topics for if you do come on the show to change your image. <laughs> really? Conan said, "What do you have there?" And and here they are. See if any of these appeal to you. Okay. Um, gay teens come out to Conan. Uh, no, don't okay. like that one. Okay. Help! I hate my name. Uh, no, I actually like the name. It's the middle name that bothers me. Don't ask. Okay. <laughs> Red no more makeover. Uh, I'll go for that. Red sure. No uh, bad jokes caught on tape. Um, go for that, sure. Archie comic lookalikes. I love that one. All right. <laughs> and my personal fave. Wait, let's get to the per. What's your personal, my personal favorite? Fave, a penile implant changed my life. Bingo! <laughs> Bingo! Good job, team. He's book solid on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know. So anyway, let's talk. You, you mentioned penile implants, and that actually is a perfect thing for me, for my next question. <laughs> I hate to use that That's as a transition. That's pretty scary. No, but it's a transition because daytime. Let's talk about it. Daytime shows. You have a daytime show. A lot of them are about sex. Wouldn't you say that? A lot of daytime shows are about sex. Fair Not enough. Not enough, but a lot of them We are. need more of them we to be about more sex. sex. Now, I'm yeah, curious about it. You get a lot of people on, and you talk about sex. And I was curious, do you ever actually talk about your own personal life on the show? Oh, do I, gang? I, I, yeah, I do. You have to, because if you expect people to come clean with you and to, you know, it's a really intimate environment, and you, um, you really want to create a trust level where people feel comfortable telling you pretty personal stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think it's fair that you have to sometimes reveal. Really? So you say stuff? Because I just I try lie. To, you know, I just, you know, I, don't, <laughs> I trick them. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotcha. That's it. You're down, man. <laughs> That's what I do. I haven't, uh, I haven't done that yet. I've been telling the oh, truth. Oh, it's good. You have to have a heart of, you know, like black coal. Which That'll is be what part of my image change. Yeah, we'll work on I'll it. But, but what kind of things do you mention? Does it, you know, because I know you're married. Does your husband get upset yeah, when he, you're on? Yeah, he really is. Um, he doesn't like it a lot when I, when I dish too much about what goes on with us. But he doesn't watch the show a lot because he's busy during the day. Uh -huh. So I get away with murder, basically, by revealing just a little tidbits about our lives. Like what, I mean, intimate stuff? You really do talk about it? Boy, you're really good at this. <laughs> I'll talk about it if you will. Okay. <laughs> um, well, why, don't you, why don't you go first? All right, well... I mean, we were talking the other day, we had on this, uh, you know John Gray who wrote that book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From yes, Venus? He's got yes. a new one now all about the bedroom. Mm -hmm. You know, men and women mm, together. I know. <laughs> and how different we are. Uh-huh, just kidding. So, you know, he says that, that men are very visually stimulated, mm -hmm. and women are more stimulated by the, uh, the conversation, and they're more auditorial. Mm -hmm. Is that a word? Let's not even worry okay. about it. It's 12.30 at night. Penile implant. It's, yeah, it's so late at night, who cares, yeah. So women, you know, basically want to hear things mm -hmm. and he says that men like noises like for like for women just to make i don't know i guess like he basically said animal noises it's i true. don't know if squealing like a pig is a good thing but <laughs> really yeah. yeah animal noises yeah, yeah. so yeah. i kind of fessed up that i I'm play all kinds of tapes in my apartment do you yeah. anyway. <laughs> So, uh... Old McDonald has new so, meaning so really, But what place. about visual stuff? Do you ever... I mean, you know, visual stuff we're talking well, about. What, visually, what do you like? We have... First of all, I don't have any... Um, you know the flannel stuff that some people sleep in or the big baggy t-shirts or whatever? I don't right. have any of that. Oh. I only have really great, sensual lingerie. Because I don't... This is true, and I know... Because... <laughs> keep her going. But since I get my clothes provided a lot for different shows, the only clothes I ever buy or have bought for me by Steve, my husband, is lingerie. Really? So you've got all kinds of lingerie in the house? Conan, every night I wear something really hot to bed. Every night. But I have Could the... Could you draw something for me? I... <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, have, I have the lingerie chest, though, that's the really racy, um, the... the 
like the garters and the bustiers and the, those. Uh -huh. And <laughs> if I even go near that area, forget it, I never get to put it on. That's how visually stimulated men are. He just the are. idea just of the it. Just thought You of can just close show him the picture in the Victoria's Secrets catalog. That's it. And he's ready to go. That's it. Ready to go. Fully charged. <laughs> men are amazing like yeah, that. Yeah, well, uh, well, Lisa, I guess it's my turn now. And, <laughs> and we're out of time. <laughs> what do you know about that? <laughs> when you come on the show, though, you'll, you'll dish. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about all this stuff when I come on your show. I'm gonna and bring wear your a, thong. I'm going to wear a thong. I'm going to talk about penile implants. I'm going to go to town. Love that. It's going to be crazy. Love that. And it will never, ever happen. Okay. <laughs> we mentioned the Daytime Emmy Awards Friday at 9 p.m. live on NBC and, of course, Lisa during the day. Thank you very much Thank for coming you. back. I it's appreciate nice it. Nice to see you, too. Lisa, everybody. Lisa Gibbons. We'll be right back. We'll see you in a second.